Hello everyone and bonjour. Today I want to talk about my plans for 1.1 and what build I'm going to play. So for this patch I'm going to play probably hardcore uh, COF. I just want to change a bit. Like last patch I played the softcore and trade uh, because I expected the servers to be uh, quite bad and it indeed was the case. But yeah, maybe this time, <laughs> copium, uh, it will be better. Who knows? But yeah, so what I'm going to play is actually uh, a Forge Guard. Forge Guard with Shield Rush. You see how it goes. Boom. You rush and you sacrifice a bit of your life every time you use your ability. But you also uh, cast Healing Hands. Every time you use uh, Shield Rush, which gives you a bit of health back. Plus, you have some leech. So it's quite scary to play in, uh, in hardcore, which would be like a kind of a weird build to play in hardcore. But I figured that uh, I needed like a build that to perform well with low investment, which because I'm probably going to die. <laughs> I didn't play too much hardcore, to be honest. Uh, I mostly do leveling. So hardcore leveling is pretty much... Uh, brain dead like if you practice like soft core leveling you're gonna uh, you're gonna do like limit testing and die to some random mobs because you're like 400 hp uh instead of 800 like barely any uh any res whereas in hardcore you just take your time uh and you're gonna be fine but yeah uh in endgame i don't have much practice for hardcore so that's why i'm <laughs> i'm choosing a build even though it's not like really defensive i, I don't need a lot of gear to uh to perform uh and push corruption uh yeah so that's it so the build is uh using shield rush sigils healing hands rings of shield and volatile reversal also it's like a build that uh that was known uh before i, I didn't create the build or anything plus the gear and the planner and everything uh it's actually misha who uh, gave me the um, the planner and everything? So all credit goes to um, to her. I I didn't do um, <laughs> too much. Maybe I'll do some adjustment depending on on my needs and stuff. But yeah, for the passive tree, it's gonna look like this, 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 and a bit like this. It's gonna depend, for example, how much point I'm putting into this, depending on the void and physical res I have uh same with this for example it, it gives like this a bit of healing effect which is kind of nice plus health plus necro which i'm i definitely need in the build and how it works is that you shield rush it doesn't cost any mana but it costs health and it gives you uh, the mana back to where it was before you casted the shield rush so what you do is you cast shield rush it casts sigils i mean you uh, cast sigils during the shield rush and when you end shield rush it gives you back the mana that you consume from the sigil which is like 30 no 45 sorry so basically like that boom and i'm back to full uh full mana i have my sigil also I have uh, rings of shield that's gonna buff uh, my bluff effect sorry uh, and also gives me um, a block chance plus a flat block effect. Yeah, it's pretty good. Volatile reversal for damage. It's kind of crazy uh, how much damage it's going to give. Uh, and yeah, sigils for uh, block effect, block chance, a bit of ignite and a bit of increased damage. Yeah. That's pretty much it for the end game version, which is like pretty low gear. Like if you can uh, look at the, the thing, like all the gear is edited. Uh, so if you see like 255 forging potential, <laughs> that's normal, guys. I used the mod to edit the gear. Um, and yeah, you have Jaspers, which is really good for the build. Bleeding Heart, which is mandatory. Uh, Sunrath, which is kind of good because of the ignite, the uh, fire damage. That's more than a uh, hundred and ten, hundred and twenty percent increase damage, and this, which has fire pen with ignite, uh, increase fire damage and also reduce damage taken from crit. 
which combined with this helm, you're basically like crit immune. Uh, for idols, you have multiple choices, like you have the ignite on hit and block effect. Then for like small idols, you have uh, increase health plus health, like those, like the, the classic health idols. Or you also have uh, increase health and uh, damage, so shared fire damage. You can also uh, equip a huge idol that gives seconds like to sentinel to uh, sentinel to sigil of hope uh, duration plus block effect. But there is also a new ring that automates uh, that automates sorry the cast of uh, sigils. So it's probably gonna be good. Um, I might like replace my sunrise by the by the ring just to automate uh, the sigils. I don't even know if you need the sigils on the bar as well. So it. If you don't need it on the bar, uh, that's even better because you can put Rebuke and Volatile Reversal. Also Rings of Shield. There is also, uh, by the way, in the passive, so here, like it says, chance to cast Rings of Shield when hit. This has been changed. Now, uh, let me show you. Uh, here it is. Um, Uh, where are the passives? Uh, Forge Guard here. Chance to cast shield on block 50%. Which is around like... Gonna, it's gonna be like 25% of the time. Because I'm gonna have like 50% block chance. Uh, so 50% chance on 50% chance is 25. And uh, yeah. I have also additional block effect per shield. Which is gonna be like 500. Because I have 5 shield I believe. How many shields do I have? Yeah, five shields. Uh, this is also going to give us more damage instead of increased damage. So this is 20% more damage. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, this less damage is going to be doubled because we are going to have like at least 50% uh, block chance. Uh, and what else? I think that's it for, uh, for this. If you want to know how to level, I have a build guide for Forge Guard. Where is it? Sentinel, Forge Guard leveling guide. I'm basically going to use this one, uh, which is the one I wrote for Max Roll. Uh, but instead of, uh, for example, like here, instead of spelling Void, instead of specking, sorry, Void Cliff directly, I'm going to spec into uh, Javelin. Uh, so let me show you. Skill, no, not the primalist. I want to be a forge guard, please. No, okay. Uh, and javelin, what you do is boom, 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 and you have a uh, holy trail. So basically, it's going to put like holy fire on the ground under the, the path of the javelin, and you're going to get healed 25 per second. So, this plus uh, healing ants that procs every time you, you uh you use a, a melee and you hit melee attack. You're basically immortal during campaign. Like you cannot die. It's impossible. Plus you have a ton of res. Like you have fire, like 32% void and fire here. Uh, what else? Here, you're going to get 10% of your health back every time you use drive or multi strike, which are going to be the two uh, abilities that you will use during uh, leveling. So this is even better than before, I believe. Like right now, how much is it? It's 25. So if you have more than 250 uh, health, which is pretty quick to get, it's going to give you even more health than before. Uh, and what else? Um, there is also, yeah, 35% fizz and fire uh, res, and here. You avoid and fizz res. So that's quite quite a lot. Um, quite a lot of res. Like look, look at my res. I mean, except for uh except for vitality. Um but yeah. Your cap void res, your cap fizz res, your cap fire res, I mean nearly. So you only have to bother with 
like four different rares on gear during leveling, which is super nice. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty powerful. I don't know when I'm going to do the switch, though, between leveling and endgame. Uh, I'll see, I'll see. Uh, I think I'm, I'm going to wait for the bleeding, the bleeding heart, sorry. And then I'm going to farm into uh, like some low corruption until I get enough gear to, to pop up the numbers. Because now it's very easy to uh, increase your corruption. With patch 1.1, basically we're going to get like uh, if you uh, if you do the cor the rotation of like doing the boss like the timeline boss plus the Orobis correctly, uh, you're gonna get like more than sixty corruption basically. So it's gonna be really quick. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna have the links for the build and uh, the planner and everything down in the description. Thank you very much, uh, Misha. Also, once again. And uh, thank you for watching. See you. Bye-bye.